Okay, I'm in Xi'an, China. I'm at the uh, Terracotta Army, Terracotta Warriors. And this is pit one of three. And you can see how massive it is. And I'm going to try to give you a little narration here. So, as you look at the soldiers, they're all facing east. And the emperor is entombed west of here. So these soldiers are facing off any enemies in his afterlife. And if you look at the soldiers, here's a good example right here. The bodies of the soldiers were all casted exactly the same, with a little hand carving to denote the different regiments of the soldiers. But if you look, you have one soldier here. So I can get my finger up there. You have one soldier there who has no head. And that's because each head is completely different. They can become, they can come off the body and each facial expression is completely different if you can see that. Um, now when they unearthed this, the, this was actually farmland and when the farmers found this, that there was a layer of timbers going horizontally over top. So they removed all the timbers and then there was like a, a cloth material underneath the timbers. And then as later, if you can see the construction, you have these main uh, support channels here, here, and here. Going laterally across are little cuts where wood would go across like that. Where they, they come back across like that. And that supported the wood structure to keep the terracotta soldiers protected from the earth collapsing down. So that's why this area is so well preserved. Um, and this is a very large area. But this is your first look at the terracotta army just outside of Xi'an, China, February 2017. Thank you for looking. Um, I appreciate it. Bye.